Akira. This is the Peter Pan story. Pan story. Pan story. Pan. Peter Pan is this magical boy. Magical Pan is the god of everything, god of roughly, everything. Speaking. roughly speaking. It's not an accident that he has the name Pan. 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 And he's the boy that won't grow up. Won't grow up. And he's magical. Magical. Well, that's because children are magical. They can be anything. They can be anything. They're nothing but potential. potential. Peter Pan doesn't want to give that up. Give that up. Why? Why? Well, Why? he's got some adults around him, but the main adult is Captain Hook. Who the hell wants to grow up to be Captain Hook? To be Captain Hook. Captain Hook. First of all, you've got a hook. Got a hook. Second, you're a tyrant. tyrant. And third, you're chased by the dragon of chaos with a clock in its stomach. The crocodile. It's already got a piece of you. Piece of you. Well, that's what happens when you get older. When you get older. Time, time, time has already got a piece of you. And eventually, it's got a taste for you. And eventually, it's going to eat you. Eat you. Eat Hook you. is so traumatized by that that he can't help but be a tyrant. And then Peter Pan looks at traumatized Hook and says, Well, no, I'm not sacrificing my childhood for that. For that. For that. He ends up king of the lost boys. Sacrifice. sacrifice. You get to pick your damn sacrifice. That's all. Sacrifice. You don't get to not make one. You're sacrificial whether you want to be or not. And who the hell wants to be king of the lost boys? And he also sacrifices the possibility that he'll have a real relationship with a woman. Because that's Wendy. She wants to grow up and have kids and have a life. She accepts her mortality. She accepts her maturity. Peter Pan has to content himself with Tinkerbell. She doesn't even exist. She's like... She's like the fairy of porn. She doesn't exist. She's the substitute for the real thing. There's a sacrificial element in maturation. You have to sacrifice the pluripotentiality of childhood for the actuality of a frame. Well, why would you do that? One reason is, it happens to you whether you do it or not. You can either choose your damn limitation or you can let it take you unaware when you're 30. Or even worse, when you're 40. 40, 40, 40. That is not a happy day. A happy day. A happy day. Sacrifice. sacrifice. You get to pick your damn sacrifice. That's all. That's all. Sacrifice. sacrifice. You don't get to not make one. You're sacrificial whether you want to be or not. When you're 25, you can be an idiot. It's no problem. It's no problem. Okay, well now you're the same person at 30. It's like people aren't so thrilled about you at that point. It's like, what the hell have you been doing for the last 10 years? Well, I'm just as clueless as I was when I was 22. Yeah, but you're not 22. You're an old infant. You're an old infant. And that's an ugly thing. Ugly thing. Ugly thing. You choose your damn sacrifice. Because the sacrifice is inevitable. But at least you get to choose it. The problem with being a child is that all you are is potential, and it's really low resolution. You could be anything, but you're not anything. So then you go and you adopt an apprenticeship. At least you become something. And when you're something, that makes the world open up to you again. If you're a really good plumber, then you end up being far more than a plumber. You end up being a good employer, you run a business, you train some other people, you enlarge their lives, you're kind of a pillar of the community, you, you have your family, it's family. Once you pass through that narrow training period, which narrows you and constricts you and develops you at the same time, then you can come out to the other end with a bunch of new possibility at, at hand. And you talked about that, he thought that part of the proper path of development in the last half of life was to rediscover the child that you left behind as you were apprenticing. So then you get to be something and regain that potential at the same time. Sacrifice. sacrifice. You get to pick your damn sacrifice. That's all. Sacrifice. You don't get to not make one. You're sacrificial whether you want to be or not. Sacrifice. You get to pick your damn sacrifice. That's all. Sacrifice. You don't get to not make one. You're
you're sacrificial whether you want to be or not. 